name is Jim. Today we're going to go through a little exercise class to hit the core from a wide variety of angles. Um, a couple things you're going to need before we get started. Um, a weight of some sort. I'm just going to use a gallon jug. Okay. And if you've watched these videos in the past, one of our first videos I did, gosh, back, back in March when this um, pandemic really kind of, kind of took off and my business pretty much shut down. So I started doing videos. Um, we're bringing back the old favorite pork and bean plank. Guys, it's just a funny name. We're doing a low plank, a low side plank, arm raise. This is just the highest household item that you could use some weight with if you wanted to add a little dynamic to those low side planks. So the pork and bean plank comes back. It makes a comeback. Uh, other than that, we just need body weight. Okay, so if you want to grab a couple little items, uh, we'll get those together. Two sets, guys. We have six exercises, nine different movements because some are one weight than the other, and we're just going through it twice. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to start off with a windshield wiper. If you haven't done these before, um, you can do them bent knee or leg straight, and it's almost like it sounds. You're just going to slight pause at the top but you're gonna just wipe the windshield. So your legs are up, going back and forth. Guys, about 15, I would say, each way. So we're gonna lay back, guys. You're gonna put your arms out for a little bit of balance. So my legs are up again. You could do these bent, and we're just going to come over, engage that core to pull back up to the center, and then we're gonna come the other way, and then squeeze up. So the idea isn't to use a lot of momentum and just fly back and forth. The idea is to engage that core, squeeze up, and then back down, use that core to come up. That's two, we're going for 15 each way. So this one takes just a little while. Three. Or, and by the way, bent knees makes it just a little bit easier. The lever arm isn't as long, so there's not as much force pulling on the core, but still very effective. I gotta stop talking, I'm losing track of what I'm doing here. So I think that's six. Turn down, squeeze up. Eight. Keep those shoulders down too, guys. Don't come over too far where you just your whole body comes out. Okay. And somewhere around fifteen is what you want to get here. I think about three more here. All right, so we're coming down again under control. Don't let the body flip over. Two more. Great job. So you saw that's that one takes a little while. It's kind of a, a slow thing. You don't want to go fast. You don't want to injure the vertebrae. You don't want to hurt the muscles in the lower back. So Go slow and control on that, all right? Next one is lemon squeeze. Let's get about 20 of these, okay? And you may be slightly fatigued from those. Um, they usually don't get you too bad. Take a breath, and let's get our lemon squeeze. So a little knee tuck crunch. Again, we're not gonna extend out too far with these, okay? So we're not coming all the way out where you strain your back. We're here, you're just gonna come out about to here. And then one, two, a little crunch with that. Three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twelve. 
Next one is the famous pork and bean plant. We've got about 15 of these. And guys, this could be just a lightweight if you want to use weight at all. And don't have things weight on this. We're just going to reach under and come up. And I'm just using the weight just to make it just a little harder. Big thing on these, if you haven't done these before, number one, you can put one foot in front of the one, top foot leading the way, and that'll give you a little wider base for balance if you need that. Otherwise, you can stack them. Even more important than that is this arm. I see a lot of people with this arm coming out here, and they come up, and that's just putting a lot of force. You can see that putting that force on the shoulder. So let's try to keep that arm straight under the shoulder. Then you can get yourself up in your plank, and then we can start doing our planks. Reach underneath slightly. One, two, three. And if that little reach, guys, that little turn really gets that core engaged. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. We'll switch them up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we just got our pork and meat planks. Guys, we're gonna go bicycles now, about 25 of these. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay down here, hands behind the head, and a lot like the lemon squeeze we just did, I'm not gonna extend the legs all the way out or bring them down to the floor where I'm straining my lower back. I'm gonna keep them up a little bit. Limited range of motion, try to focus on that core. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower body gets a little break. I'm just gonna spin around and grab this weight. So I'm gonna use a gallon jug. And again, you don't need weight for this. We're gonna do a cross crunch up. All that means is we're gonna arm up, guys. The other hand here can lay at your side, or I put it behind my head. Sometimes just for fun, a little support. So we're going to have this hand up, either with or without weight, and you're just gonna crunch up toward the ceiling. But you're gonna crunch up like you're kind, almost like you're trying to hit your shoulder who is up above you. So we're coming just across the body a little bit. So that is our cross, crunch, up. I'm gonna grab a weight here. I'm gonna hold here, guys. Ops hand behind behind your head is fine. Or you know, like I said, you can put it on your side, but this feels pretty good. And we're coming up. One, two, and this arm is relaxing. You're not trying to like press it or move it all around. Just hold the weight. Three, four, five. You're trying to let your core go over. So you're, you're reaching toward the ceiling, but trying to press with your core. That, that makes sense. So I'm not, I'm not throwing up like this. I am crunching up. Oh, that's seven.
we'll switch sides here. Hold it up. Okay, remember we're coming across the body here, guys. set this down over here. This next one, guys, is, is kind of fun because you're going to engage the core a little bit, um, just holding your body in position for this one. And then we're going to do a little leg lift on top of that. Okay, so we're going to do a little bridge leg lift. So we're going to put the hands out the side, okay? And we're staying flat, maybe a little bit of the heel pressure here. So I'm going to come, I'm going to come up, keeping those hips up off the ground. Then I'm going to extend the leg out. And we're just going to go one, two, Again, under control, six, seven, eight, not going too deep, nine, 10, looking good, 11, about 15 to 20, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, we're gonna switch those legs up now. Bridging up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Bring those legs down. Guys, that was one set. Okay, so shake those legs up for just a second. We're going back, guys, to those windshield wipers. All right, so put the arms out. <clears throat> legs are up, slow control, about 15 again. Okay, here we go. Go off the one set. Again, just, just try to keep it all in the core. No crazy fast movements. One. Okay, one more. All right. So the windshield wipers are done. I'm gonna stretch those legs out for just one second and we're going into our limit squeeze, just a little knee tuck in the crunch. 
try and take count of uppers and lowers simultaneously. All right, and we'll get about 20 of these. Hands behind the head, and here we go. Remember, don't go too far out of these again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 18, couple more. 19, 20. All right, guys, we're going to the low planks. All right, so a side low plank and uh, arm raise. So we're here, guys. We're coming up. Underneath. Let's match reps to the other side. Bicycle kicks are next. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Here we go, guys. Push it, 17. 15 to 20. One. X as you go up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Just crunch it up toward the ceiling. Seven across the body. was 20 that way. We'll switch them up, guys. <clears throat> and we're going to go the other way. Here we go. One, two, three, four, four, five, six,
All right, nice job here. Believe it or not, to our last movement. So we're going to bridge up, kind of engage in that core a little bit, but then do leg lifts at the same time. So here we go, guys. We're in our bridge. Let's bring the leg up. One, two, three, four, five. Don't go too deep. Six, seven. reps on this other side. We're bridging up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good work. Ten, eleven, lunch crunch for today. Thanks for joining me guys. Stay safe out there. Stay fit and we will see you guys next time.